Hello everyone, welcome to another one of my unboxing video. So from previous video, you already saw that I'm actually building a small form factor PC now. And that casing actually can fit in a very chunky Noctua NHD15 air cooler. But unfortunately in Malaysia, that air cooler is very expensive. So instead, I option to ID cooling which I ordered and right. Okay, so let's unbox the air cooler. Okay, this I've ordered I think one week ago and it arrived in not so good condition. The packaging got some damage. I hope the air cooler is still fine. Let's see how it is. Mm, okay, very big. Yeah, uh, it is still in good condition, luckily. Let's put this aside. Okay, so here we have it. This is the ID cooling SE207XT Black. So they put the XT behind of the number 207. So this is a replacement model of the previous SE207 Black. Okay, let's open this up and see what's inside. Okay, so um, first off, we have the instruction menu. The Obviously, show you how to install this uh, CPU air cooler. Okay, then next, this one should be the accessory kit. Okay, so they do provide the thermal paste for us to use during the installation. Okay, then next, next we have this bracket. This bracket is for the Intel socket. This is LGA one one five X. Should be compatible with LGA one two zero zero or so. Then we have some bracket. This is the bracket for us to mount the air cooler, AMD and Intel bracket. Then next, they also provide us with this uh, PVM splitter cable so that we can connect up to three fans. So which means we can actually mount another fan to the air cooler also because by default, they provide us with two fans. You see here, we have this bracket for us to mount additional one fan and the splitter is three to one header. Then we have some of the screw, the standoff and the screw for us to tighten to mount the CPU air cooler. Okay. Then there is one cool thing. They do provide this uh, sticker. Quite nice. It's a sticker you can stick on it. Okay. Um, Alright. Let's see what's inside the box. Uh, I think we should take it off like this. It's quite a big air cooler. Okay, here is the air cooler. Let's talk about the design first. Okay, the look, the overall look of this CPU air cooler is very nice. For those who are not fancy with RGB lighting, this one sh you should like it because it's all black all around. As you can see, the heat sink, the twin tower, the heat sink is black color. The fan is black color also. And even the heat pipe. The seven heat pipe is also black color. It's all around black color, so it should be very nice for those who are looking for a stealth black build. Uh, a bit of difference from the previous model is that, okay, this newer model, this XT black color, they don't have a top panel. Compared to the previous model, the 207 black, they have a top panel here. So with the top panel, the previous model, I think look a bit, uh, a bit tidy, a bit neat. But in here, the newer model, it should look a bit rustic. Uh, I think for those who prefer this kind of simple look, it will be quite nice also. For the dimension of this CPU air cooler is that the height is 157mm and the width, the width is 122mm and the length is 144mm. But uh, just now I saw on the box, the length is 140 on the box here but in the spec sheet it write 144 um, i'm not sure why it is that the weight of this cpu air cooler is rated at 1.3 kg um, quite heavy compared to the previous model the previous model they only rated it at 950 gram so the this newer model is much more heavier around 400 gram it's around, no, not 400 grams, it's around 350 grams. Over here, the design is similar with the previous model. They are still using a 7 heat pipe here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 heat pipe uh, to dissipate heat to 
these two tower heat sink over here for better cooling performance uh. okay and they are also using copper base here copper base is similar with the previous model also okay then a bit of info on the ram clearance because a lot of people when they mount this kind of huge uh, cpu air cooler there is a concern on the ram clearance so on this new model the ram clearance they stated in the specification is 50 50 mm tall whereas the previous model is only 35 mm tall so we will expect a better ram clearance on this newer model of cpu air cooler on the performance side for this new model their tdp is rated as 280 watt whereas the previous model is only rated at 250 watts so the cooling performance should be better on this both of the fan on this new model is the rpm is rated on 700 to 1800 rpm whereas the previous model i'm not sure why the previous model there is a difference one of the fan is only rated at 1300 rpm and then the another one is 700 to 1800 rpm so that's why the previous model the airflow is a bit lesser than this and also using two different fans whereas on this new model they are using two similar fans so the airflow will be better in this also okay so for the noise level of this cpu air cooler both of the fan is rated at average around 15.2 to 35.2 dba so i think it's considered quite a silent operation fan to, because compared to their previous fan it's also rated at a similar similar rating also so it should be quiet also both of the fans are using this four pin pvm connector as we as i showed you just now we can connect the fan to the splitter and connect into one of the motherboard pvm fan header okay so uh that's it for the small introduction of this cpu air cooler i need to install this cpu air cooler to my small form factor casing and do some tests on the temperature and also the noise level then i will show you some of the detail two thousand years later okay so i did a testing on my partial setup and i'll be comparing it with the stock cooler wave prism on my previous casing the techwear vxr and both of the cooler are tested on this ryzen 5 3600 okay so here is the temperature the maximum temperature for se 207 xt is 75.7 degrees celsius whereas the stock cooler max out at 83 degrees celsius so there is a difference of 7.3 degrees celsius on the max temp then for the idle temperature this se 207 xt dipping as low as 34.7 degrees celsius which is very very impressive i think compared to the stock cooler the idle temperature hovering around 41.5 degrees celsius so there's a difference of around 6.8 for the idle temperature so, and if you are looking at the max temperature and idle temperature for both of them there is a difference around of 7 degrees celsius so the se 207 xt i think definitely there is a better cooling performance then next let's look at the noise level okay for noise level i did a testing using a sound meter app on my smartphone it might not be accurate but we will just use it as a reference so i placed my smartphone about uh, two feet away from the cpu cooler which is my sitting position and from the testing oddly i found out that the se207 xt the sound level is higher than the stock cooler by 4 decibel but it is odd because my initial impression is that this cooler is supposed to be much more silent than the stock cooler then i think from my personal user experience is, is that the wave prism stock cooler require more effort to cool down the cpu so the fan will spin at maximum rpm more often then i'll keep on hearing the noise so i think the stock cooler is much more noisier but and then based on my personal user experience uh, about one and a half feet on this se207 xt i do find it it is much more silent because the cooling performance is better so the fan doesn't spin at maximum rpm that often so i won't i i didn't hear that much of the noise that often so it, it is definitely more silent 
then the stop cooler but again for those who know right we can actually adjust the fan curve to reduce the fan speed and also reducing the fan noise all right so in conclusion i think that this se207 xt is a good cpu cooler of course it is better than a stock cooler but i won't say it is better than other cpu cooler because i don't have the other cpu cooler to do a testing on it and given the price point on this it is quite affordable so for those who are considering to get a cpu cooler that is better than the stock cooler this se207 xt will be quite a good consideration okay all right so um that's all for my video today i will see you again next time thank you bye bye